So over to you, Jean. Right, well, thank you for asking me. Um, our call to worship is Psalm 147, verse one. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise him. And we're going to sing a hymn by Timothy Dudley Smith, which was based on that psalm. Fill your hearts with joy and gladness. So let's come to prayer. Father God, we thank you that we can join together in this way because it is so good to be able to keep up with friends and to be able to chat together. And we know that even though we are so separated, we are still together and that you are with us in our midst, each one being conscious of your presence with us. And so we thank you for that. We thank you that we can praise you and that we can listen to you and hear your voice speaking to us. And we ask for your blessing on our meeting this evening. Amen. Let's join together and say the, the, the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I think of all the creation, my favourite things are trees. All year round, they have so much beauty, from the first buds swelling on the branches, then the blossom bursting out so beautifully. 
the green leaves sprouting out and growing larger, giving shade to the ground beneath, and then turning yellow, red, and brown in autumn, giving such a blaze of colour before drifting down to cover the earth. Trees all produce their seeds in the form of fruits, whether in the like of apples or pears or even pine cones. Trees have been used for making furniture, for building work, for fires, cooking and heating, and even for the cruelty of a deathly cross. For me, trees are a thing of beauty and a joy forever. Now, if you've got your piece of paper that you were asked to bring, fold it in half so that you've got two, piece, two sides to it, or two pieces. And then draw on one side a fruit and on the other side a leaf. And it has to be big enough to take some words in the middle. So here's my leaf and here's my fruit. Mine has to be coloured because I like to be different. And I'll tell you what to do with those in a minute. If you've got scissors, you can cut them out into the shapes. The Bible has quite a lot to say about trees. So I'm going to read Psalm 1, which mentions trees. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. And the righteous, they will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its root by the stream. It does not fear when the heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. And Paul, in his letter to the Ephesians, writes about the fruit of the Spirit. And so now, hopefully, <laughs> we're going to listen to and watch a rather fun song about it. The fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit. Of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a banana. The fruit of the spirit is not a banana. If you wanna be a banana, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. The fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. If you wanna be a watermelon. You might as well hear it, you can't be a fruit of the spirit Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Well, I hope you enjoyed that. 
I'm not sure how much children would learn about the fruit of the spirit from that, but at least they'd learn what it isn't. <laughs> Another children's song about this is a bit more serious. And I particularly like the beginning, which speaks of the relationships which need the fruits of the spirit. So can we have the next one, Mary, please? <laughs> This song's called The Fruit of the Spirit. Let's clap our hands like this. We're going to sing this song that's all about the fruit of the Spirit that God works in us. We're going to start by singing, When My Neighbor Feels Sad, Tired, or Confused. Okay, so let's sing it out together. Here we go. When my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused, when a friend is mad, or said something rude, God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit. A life full of love, grace, and truth. I got love, joy, peace. Good job. Let's sing patience. Patience, kindness, goodness. All right, you guys, sing faithfulness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. Good job, you guys. All right, let's clap our hands again. And we're going to sing that all over when my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused. Here we go. When my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused, when a friend is mad or said something rude, God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit, a life full of love, grace, and truth. I got love, joy, peace. Nice job, you guys. Let's sing together. Patience, kindness, good news. All right, sing faithfulness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world that got love, joy, peace. Sing out patience. Patience, kindness, goodness. All right, you guys, sing out really loud. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. All right, you guys, let's clap our hands like this again. We are singing about the fruit of the Spirit. Now, the fruit of the Spirit is what God works in us when we know Him. And you guys, we're going to sing, I got the fruit of the Spirit, because we know and we know Jesus, so we have it, okay? So let's sing it out really loud. Here we go. I got the fruit of the Spirit. Sing that out again. Yeah, the fruit of the Spirit. As loud as you can. I got the fruit of the Spirit. And here's some yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sing out, I got love. I got love, joy, peace. Good job. Let's sing patience. Patience, kindness, goodness. Awesome job, you guys. Let me hear ya. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. I got love, joy, peace. Good job, you guys. Sing patience. Patience, kindness, goodness. All right, sing faithfulness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. I like the idea that it is to do with relationships um, that we need to have all these gifts of the spirit because you know if they just sort of sit there doing absolutely nothing what is the point of them and the, th the thing is that they have to be um, something that is to do with the relationships between people it may be relationships that people might need from us for various reasons. And Jesus told this parable. A man had a fig tree growing in his vineyard and he went to look for fruit on it, but did not find any. So he said to the man who took care of the vineyard, for three years now, I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and I haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up all the soil? Sir, the man replied, leave it alone for one more year and I'll dig around it and fertilize it. If it bears fruit next year, fine. If not, then cut it down.
our purpose is to bear fruit. Is there something that God is saying to you personally or to the church about this? If there is, write it on your piece of fruit. And now we come to our falling leaves and no longer useful to the trees. I think autumn is a lovely time with all the beautiful colors, but the trees let go of the leaves because they are not much use to them during the winter. And we may have things that hold us back from being fruitful. It can be all sorts of different things that hold us back. Things that have been in our hearts and minds for a long time. Things that may have happened just in the last few days. As you know, it's nearly a year since I moved from Bridgewater to Exmouth. I could have kept very involved with Bridgewater through the wonders of the me media. I still do keep in touch, but I had to let go so that I could be fruitful here in Exmouth. If I had spent every Sunday just watching their programme and during the week talking with them and that sort of thing, it would have not been very good for me to be able to do anything here. I'm not going to tell you what I do do. But we do need to let go of certain things. So, is there anything holding you back from being fruitful? Being resentful about a hurt? Being unforgiving? Being afraid to say or do something? Or even thinking that you are always right and everybody else is wrong? So if there is, write it on your leaf shape. You can keep these as reminders or throw them away. Of course, one of the things about the leaves that fall onto the ground is that they rot away and they become part of the earth. And then they can fertilize growing plants. And sometimes these things that trouble us, once we put them into the hands of God, in other words, we've thrown them away, they can be a way of fertilizing our fruits because they strengthen us they help us to understand other people they help us to be able to reach out to other people because we know what it's like to be hurt to suffer to have people say things that we don't like. So all these things can strengthen us and build us up, much as we decide that they are not really helping. They don't help when they're kept inside, but once they're given out and laid at the feet of Jesus, then they become something to strengthen us and to help us. So let's come to our prayers of intercession. I've got some um, headings and after each section, I will leave it quiet so that we can continue to think in our minds about these things. Because very often when we come to prayers of intercession, we just gabble through them and that's it. And we want God to listen to them, to hear what we're saying. And when possible, for us to be used 
to answer his prayers, our prayers in his way. So let's come to God. Father God, we come before you now to pray about the things and the people who are in our hearts and minds at this time. We pray for each other, that we may indeed be filled with the fruit of your spirit to enable us to nurture those who need your love, even if they don't really know you. We pray for the church, that your people everywhere may live the life of Jesus, full of compassion and self-giving, seeking to give the good news of your love and sacrifice to all. We pray for the leaders of all governments, that they may seek to bring peace and fulfilment to their people and to the people of the whole world. And we especially pray for the peace to come quickly between Russia and Ukraine. We pray for other places in the world which are in a state of turmoil. And it seems that when we look at something on television or listen to the news on the radio, there is one more country, one more place which is in turmoil and needing your peace and your love to spread through them. Lord God, we know that nothing is too difficult for you. And even when mankind is seeking power and dom domination, you can still overcome that lust. And we pray for the people affected by the loss of family, friends, homes, jobs, and their well being. We pray for people we know who are suffering physically, mentally, and spiritually. We pray for your healing power to come upon them. That they may become whole and filled with your spirit. Lord, 
Lord, we put our trust in you, for we can do nothing without you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. And from Isaiah chapter 55, verses 9 to 13. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Instead of the thorn bush will grow the juniper and instead of briars, the myrtle will grow. This will be for the Lord's renown, for an everlasting sign that will endure forever. And that comes to our last song, which is, you will go out with joy. <laughs> So let's pray. Father God, we thank you that we can think so much about trees and their beauty, that we can think so much about fruit and what it does for us. And we pray that we will each be filled with your spirit and filled with the fruit of your spirit so that we can give love and joy and peace to all whom we meet. In Jesus' name, amen. So shall we say the grace together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all.
and then um, thank you Jan thank you Jan thank you <laughs> and may we all have a fruitful week yeah. <laughs> thank, yeah. you. thank you everyone bye bye bye